Somalia has made significant progress in advancing key national priorities. These include, firstly, the appointment of the Independent Constitutional Review and Implementation Commission. Secondly, the passage of 11 pieces of legislation, of which six have already been signed into law. And thirdly, the successful one person, one vote district council elections in Puntland State. The March and May meetings of the National Consultative Council resulted in three governance proposals. Firstly, the revision of the national security architecture. Secondly, a model for fiscal federalism. And thirdly, an electoral model. The proposed electoral model provides for one person, one vote elections at all the different layers of government. This aspect has been well received. Other elements of the NCC electoral proposal, including a shift to a presidential system, a move to two political parties, and the alignment of electoral terms have received more mixed reactions. With that in mind, I urge the federal government to set out its plans for a rigorous and inclusive consultation process, including precise options for consultation and clarity on how agreements will be reached before decisions are codified into law or fed into the constitution-making process. Puntland remains outside the NCC process, but has indicated it will engage directly with the federal government. I encourage this dialogue to start urgently to ensure the process is fully inclusive.